Hello and welcome to Crystal Crafts with Dee. Today I'd like to show you my latest project. I'm really super keen to do this one and to see the quality and how it turns out. I stumbled onto this one when I was shopping um, at a store called Kaiser Crafts. I think that's how you say it in Mildura, Victoria. It's a really big craft store and they've got just about everything you need. Beautiful giftware and that sort of thing. And they have diamond dots and they also had their own brand of diamond kits. So they call them Kaiser Sparkle Kits. And I was so excited and they had 30% off. So I thought, oh, I'm definitely getting a few. So I've never done this before with these guys. So I'm really keen to see how this turns out. So far, I'm really happy. So um, fingers crossed. We'll see how we go, but this is the box that it came in. So really well presented and well packaged. And I love how they tell you the name of your kit jellyfish, the design size, which is 44 by 34 centimeters, and your canvas size is 50 by 40. And it also tells you what's in the kit. And um, I'm loving how they give you a thumbnail on the front and they also give you a sample on the box. Big fan of that as I really like to see what I'm getting. It is a full drill and um, yeah, gorgeous. So I'll get rid of that box. So I've kitted this up and I will be getting into this shortly, but I just wanted to show you how I kitted it up. And what it looks like so there's your canvas pop that there so I love this image I love the colors I love the design I love all of it the actual drill field is really nice and clear so I will bring you in and you can have a look at that so moving in so really nice and clear and there are some, oops, some bits that I'm not too sure about. I might need the light pad on, like with these darker colors when you've got, um, like the purple with the black writing. That makes it a little bit difficult to see, especially up in these sections there. But it shouldn't be too labor intensive. But I'm loving the colors. I think this is just gonna show up so nice. So your canvas is actually really nice. It's nice and pliable. It doesn't feel plasticky. And you've got quite a thick cover sheet on the top and it's clear as you can see. And your symbol field, symbol legend thing. You've got, I love the thumbnail and you've got your DMCs code reference as well as your symbols there. So it should be pretty good. They're all uh, numbers and letters. And you've got your DMC codes as well. But I'm not a big fan of the dark background with the black writing. But anyway, we'll see how we go. Uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to see, like with these ones here, what color they're going to be. So really, I don't think it's going to be that much of a drama. So there you go. That is just going to turn out awesome, I reckon. So I'll zoom you back out again. They do have that symbol key on both sides. Your top left hand corner and your bottom right hand corner. So I will zoom you back out again. There we go. I'm loving that. So I have kitted it up. I just got this um, container kit from Kmart. And I was just sort of interested to see how much it fit in there. They actually hold a fair few drills. But that's how I, I've been kitting it up. There are 28 colors. This holds 24. So I had to raid another storage container to get my other four. There's two. And another two. So I've got those there and I had some spares and I just all I do is I just mark the symbol on it so I can reference it easier and do it that way. 
So there you go. So there is my next project that I'm going to do. I will be showing you a work in progress on it and at the end show you a review and show you the finished product. So I'm super keen to get stuck into this. I really want to see the quality. The drills actually look really good and the stickiness of your canvas is also very sticky. So it is very sticky. And um, yep, yeah. be very interesting to see how this turns out. So anyway, we'll be bringing you this works in progress. So stay tuned for that one. And as I said at the end of the video, I will show you the finished product and um, let you know what I thought of it. So um, stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so I'm all done. I am so happy with how this turned out. It's just the colors and the quality. Um, really, really happy with this kit. The canvas is really nice, really easy to work with, and the glue was great. The drills are really good as well, and I didn't have to flatten this at all, so um, that was actually really handy, so I could get started really quick and I didn't have to wait for it to iron out any of those creases so really really happy with this um, I'll bring it down to have a bit of a, a sticky beak close up so in we go so that was really good the grid was nice the drills weren't squished in at all they had room and I had no trouble placing those drills. I did use a light pad for most of it, but I didn't have to. The colors that I was a bit concerned about were those dark purples in here. I had no trouble reading those symbols, so yeah, that wasn't an issue for me. But um, I'm so happy with how this turned out. It was good fun. And because you had the, the variations in your, your background colors there, it was just interesting. It was good to do. So there you go. That's how it looks close up. I'll zoom you back out again. There you go. So with this particular diamond painting, they gave you plenty of drills. The drills were really good quality. Uh, however, I will turn this over and I'll show you my reject drills. So I will reach over and get those reject drills. So there actually weren't a lot of drills left that were yuck. Uh, most of these ones in here were ones that were in the wrong container. So there was a red one in with the pinks, that sort of thing. Um, you have your usual sort of trashy ones which is fine but what drove me mad were these tiny little dribble ones if I can get that to focus those tiny little dots and they were in with the two dark purples the X and the Y and they were just really annoying because if you have any little bit of wax on the nib of your diamond painting pen when you go to pick up a drill you inadvertently pick up one of those little guys and then when you stick it onto your canvas one of those little guys sticks too and it was so annoying because I had to keep picking them off but it was only in those two colors um, annoying but what can you do so really that's not a lot of uh, reject drills as I said not all of them are rejects but that's not too bad 
So the drills that were left over, they gave me plenty of drills. Lots of drills. There we go. Oh, wipe out the camera. So I have plenty left over, which was nice. And with these ones here, this was the first time I used this um, container set and actually it was really good fun. Nice and easy to use and they actually hold quite a few drills. I thought they'd be too small, but um, that worked out really well. So I'll be using these ones a lot in the future. So probably the lowest ones I had was the S. But again, there was heaps left over. Plenty to choose from. The Z got a little bit low, but no issues. So apart from the fact that I had those little dribbly bits, um, the drills were actually really, really good. And they have a lot of good shine and sparkle to them. Majority of them were uniform. And, um, and they were easy to place, so very, very happy with that. So there you go. That's my first kit from the Kaiser Craft Sparkle Kit series. I really like doing this one. I have bought some more, so I'm looking forward to doing those ones and showing you how I go with those in the future. But um, yeah, for my first kit, I'm absolutely wrapped with this one. Just love it. Love the colors. I love the design. The jewels were great. I don't know if you can see the, the shine too much there. Oh, it's a little bit. But yeah, there's just a lot of shine there. Really, really happy. So, my jellyfish. Awesome review. Love it, love it, love it. Looking forward to doing more. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I will catch you next time. Bye!